Hey everybody, it's just Evil here, and we're going to go ahead and bring you some update information for Hearthstone. So this is for Hearthstone as a whole, but keep in mind that I do only play Battlegrounds, so I may not go over all of the information. So if there's anything that I'm not going to go over, or I briefly go over, and you want to know about, be sure to click the link in the description, so that way you can go ahead and read these notes. Now as far as the patch goes, the patch will release tomorrow on the 24th. Sixth, and um, this will be just the patch to get everything ready for August 2nd because August 2nd is when Murder at Castle Natharia is going to launch. With that launch, we are going to get a slew of brand new cards, 10 legendaries, new infused keyword, as well as a new legendary card type. So, if you haven't already done your pre order, if you want to do it, go ahead and hop on over to Hearthstone and get your pre order done. We're going to go ahead and go right on into the updates, which we do start off with Battlegrounds. So as you can see, starting t starting tomorrow, we will have access to everybody. Whether you have the Battle Pass or not for Battlegrounds, you will have access to the Battlegrounds emotes. You'll be able to obtain special emotes that can equip over the base emotes in your Battlegrounds collection. So there will be a whole new collection for that. Uh, so the first set of emotes that we're going to get tomorrow will be the Mystery Mayhem. So there will be a collection just like we have for everything else in your Battleground session or section so that you can select those emotes. Um, outside of that, we do have a new hero that we will start seeing as of tomorrow if you do happen to have the Perks Pass. And that is going to be Heist Baron Togwaggle. And his ability is pay nine and you can steal all the minions from Bob's Tavern. Each turn, your hero power costs one less. So that's actually kind of a little OP. And that is at the end of the recruitment phase that you can see from the dev comments there. And that will decrease automatically by one. So by turn nine, you could probably steal all the minions for free if you wanted to. So again, Battlegrounds perks, people will have this available uh, starting tomorrow. And the official release of the hero will be on August 9th. Outside of that, we do have a few hero updates, uh, starting with the Lich King, Sneed, and Edward Van Cleave. Their abilities will now be able to uh, be used on the minions in Bob's Tavern. Uh, you just make sure you freeze them. Don't forget to freeze. <laughs> and you'll have those abilities for uh, attached to that minion on the next turn. Minion updates, there really aren't a lot here. We do have the red whelp going from a 2-1 or sorry, 1-2 two to a 2-2. Two two. It is staying the same. They did also go ahead and bring the evolving chroma wing back. So now your Red Whelp is no longer the only dragon in Tier 1. The Evolving Chroma Wing is ability. It used to be that anytime you upgraded the tavern, it would double its attack. It is now changed to after you upgrade your tavern, gain plus one, plus one for each friendly dragon. I actually do like that a little bit better because it made the Chroma Wing a little bit uh, balanced that its uh, ability, would its attack would double with every upgrade, leaving it a very strong yet weak character. Outside of that, that is it for Battlegrounds. The next couple updates are Mercenaries updates and Duels updates. The Mercenaries update, you're going to get a limited time event with Cthune. Um, we're not really going to go over that, but you do want to go ahead and make sure that you uh, complete your 10 special tasks to obtain the rewards from that. You have until September 6th to complete all 10 tasks. And upon completing all 10 tasks, we'll grant you the Cthune Mercenary which is shown right here, a random Cthune golden portrait, and the diamond Cthune and 700 mercenary coins. So again, make sure you head on over to mercenaries to complete your 10 tasks starting on August 16th until September 6th. So again, starting August 16th until September 6th to complete all 10 of your mercenary tasks. Um, outside of that, they are also introducing Sir Finley as a protector. Stats are down here. So make sure you read up on the updates if you want to know more about the Mercenaries updates. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go down because there's more Mercenaries updates with some, with Merc Heroes. We're not going to go into it. The next update is going to be, update information is going to be on the duels. So the general updates on 
as of tomorrow, July 26th, the current dual season will end and ratings will be set. Um, any ongoing runs will be concluded. Uh, the Witchwood and Murder at Castle Nathardian expansions are coming to duels. So Witchwood will finally be usable in duels as of tomorrow. And Murder, uh, Murder, the Murder, I can't talk right now. Sorry, guys. Murder at Castle Nathardia will be added to card buckets and discoverable uh, as of tomorrow as well. Uh, however, those cards will not be able to be used and initially deck building until the release on August 2nd. So you will have access to the cards. You just won't be able to use those decks until the 2nd of August. Uh, there's a new hero coming to duels, which will also be released uh, tomorrow with tomorrow's patch. And that's Darius Crowley. And you Again, patch notes in the link if you want to re read all of this information. There's a bunch of balance changes that are coming out as well. The next update is to your arena on August 2nd when Murder at Castle Nathalia launches. All arena runs will end and a new season will begin. And then they will be rotating that card pool out. And here is what they are going to have. Patch notes in the description. Um... So now we're just going to have uh, multiple favorite random hero skins. So you're going to be able to have more than just one favorite on a hero. So that's great. Um, apparently we, anybody who's been, uh, so here is for you guys. If you have been thinking about coming back to Hearthstone and you're not sure, you've been gone for like Five, four or five months plus, maybe years, who knows. There is a returning player's reward. Even if you've gotten him before, make sure you go back, come back, you log in, you get your reward. The reward can contain, uh, in the numbers variable, it's uh, it, uh, card packs. So um, a friend of mine got 420 card packs. It was crazy. Uh, I spent a good couple, I think a good hour or two opening all 420. Um, but they do have that. Outside of that, there is going to be a lot of bug fixes and game improvements. So make sure you do, again, check that description in the link for the, check the link, check the description for the link to read up on the patch notes. Whoo! Uh, all right. So that is it. And I, oh, oh, outside of that, guys. Rewards track, as we've mentioned, it is going to refresh. So, you will, we will stop being, as of tomorrow, we're going to stop earning rewards, and it's going to switch over to Murder Castle at Nathalia on August 2nd. So, you have today until tomorrow, and tomorrow, probably until the patch comes out, so you, we'll just say you got like less than 24 hours to get any rewards done if you haven't already done so in the rewards track. Well, guys, that's it for me. I do thank you for swinging by, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.